We're working hard to ensure a bright future for all of us, but we need your help too. We're facing some big challenges about how we manage water, so we've got some important choices to make. We'd all be lost without our farms and agriculture. Rural landscapes are a beautiful part of the fabric of our society. But changes to the way we manage land over time have meant that pollutants from farms are making it into your local water, including special areas of conservation and bathing waters. The pollutants come from slurry, silage, pesticides and waste, spread to land and sediment, making their way into our water. Pollutants from farms can get into watercourses through it down tracks, straight runoff from fields, they can go onto roadways and then find their way into the watercourse. Soils are in poor shape too. Over two million hectares of England's soil are at risk of erosion. Heavy rainfall and storms cause soil erosion, which increases flood risk and smothers our rivers in sediment. Intensive agriculture has caused arable soils to lose 40 to 60% of their organic carbon. We also use land to dispose of waste from water treatment and industry. The risks to water from soil are not just agricultural ones. When you lose soil into watercourses, you're also losing um, uh, nitrates and phosphates, and that costs uh, the um, water companies a lot of money to retrieve those out before it goes into the drinking taps. If it rains heavily after, after fertilisers have been put on the field, then that can wash into the rivers and then that basically um, uh, you know, fertilises the river rather than the field. And so you get a lot of algal growth, uh, which outcompetes a lot of the native plants. It's a process called eutrophication, uh, which basically lowers the diversity of plant life uh, in, in, in the river. And then that has lots of knock-on effects for the, the whole ecosystem. You know, the plants are the primary producers uh, in the river. And uh, if, there's only, if there's only algae and there aren't all the other plants, uh, then uh, that lowers the diversity of all the invertebrates and the fish populations that the river can support. We don't want to rely heavily on chemical use, pesticide use. There are other ways of achieving insect and pest control, for example. And that might be integrating livestock into the arable rotation, introducing grass, and that way we can get on top of weeds. So there are many ways that we can do it by what we call sustainable means. It's absolutely critical that farmers um, are looking after water in terms of quality and quantity um, and this can be done across um, several measures on farm. So the, the key one really starting with is looking after soil, making sure that it's um, got good structure, it's well managed, it's using things like cover crops, wide rotation so that water can actually infiltrate into the soil um, and with good structure it can therefore stay there. It's great sort of looking in the here and now, but we also have to look, you know, as farmers, we very much look into the future. So we're working on, you know, sort of decade time cycles. There are a number of accreditation schemes that you will see labelled up in the supermarkets. And um, I, I do encourage people to look out uh, for, for produce that is marked up in this way. Small changes, big picture.